Hello ladies and gentlemen, scared to before here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the M7 Priest. The M7 Priest, known officially as the 105mm Howitzer Motor Carriage M7, was an American self-propelled artillery vehicle produced during World War II. Uh, the, it was often given the official service name, a uh, 105mm self-propelled gun, uh, nicknamed Priest by the British Army due to the pulpit-like machine gun ring and uh, following on the Bishop and Contemporary Deacon self-propelled gun. So just kind of keeping that naming of uh, kind of like church positions and stuff like that uh, for other self-propelled um, artillery vehicles. Uh, the M7 Priest was originally built upon the chassis of M3 Lees. Uh, later on in the war though, it was upgraded to the M7B1, which basically uh, made the hull of it, or the chassis built upon it, the hull of the M4A3 uh, Sherman. So the version you can see in front of you is more of the M7B1 as it is based on, on the uh, chassis of the M4A3 Sherman. Um, however, you can easily, um, you know, take an M3 lead design and make it the early kind of version, but I do prefer the Sherman uh, chassis for sure on this vehicle. Um, anyways, uh, pretty cool stuff there. Uh, some of these M3 Lees did go on to see service in the Korean War were upgraded to M7B2s, which I do not recall exactly what the difference really was. Maybe some upped armor, uh, maybe a new gun, who knows. But uh, they did see some service in the Korean War as well. Um, so pretty interesting stuff here with this vehicle. And, you know, it's always awesome to, you know, see these kind of modified vehicles from a, you know, pre-existing chassis into some cool uh, new vehicle and stuff like that. And the M7 Priest here, uh, definitely is no exception to that. So really cool looking uh, vehicle overall and uh, we don't have too many self-propelled artillery pieces especially from our American lineup so uh, really cool stuff there. Um, yeah but going ahead and taking a look at the build uh, we can start off by going ahead and starting off with the front here. Obviously we have uh, the hole here looks uh, a lot like a Sherman uh, but once you started to get into this area right here you have pretty much the gun case. Um, so located in this area here, you got obviously front headlights, the gun mount itself, which comes out, and you also have the driver's viewport located right there. Um, as we work our way back, you have uh, the gun breech and the gun that works its way back. You'll be able to be tilted to uh, elevate, to shoot upwards, and stuff like that um, in the back here. And this is basically where the crew would be uh, positioned. Uh, we then have a turret ring right here. So basically this was a uh, ring here for a 50 caliber machine gun or... Um, yeah, mostly 50 cal is what they used. They were used for AA purposes, but I really see them more being anti-personnel. Uh, just giving the M priest a little bit more survivability and a little bit more defense against approaching enemy infantry or something like that, if that were the case. Um, continuing on, uh, we have uh, some boxes here, some different gears strapped on the back. So the sandstone slabs, you theoretically could get rid of them. Uh, but it does have these boxes on the back here. I imagine they're probably some kind of ammo storage or uh, something like that for... Uh, storage purposes and stuff like that to uh, carry more ammunition since it is an artillery vehicle. Um, overall, really interesting vehicle and a really nice design. You know, we don't have too many of these self propelled vehicles or self propelled uh, gun vehicles for the Allies, so really cool to see a new one in our lineup. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off with our first uh, set of layers, layer 0 through 1. Alrighty, guys, moving into our first layer, we'll be going ahead and starting with layer 0 through 1. For these layers, for us to get started here, we're going to go ahead and place down a nether brick slab, which is going to be the start here of our right front. We then want to place down a nether brick top slab, come off that slab going forward. Going back from this nether brick slab here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair face in this direction like so. Behind this dark oak wood stair, we're going to place down a nether brick block in the ground like this, followed by a string on top of that block. We then want to place down a row of what is going to be two dark oak wood stairs like this across. We're going to go ahead and place them down a nether two dark oak wood stairs facing these stairs, two stairs like so. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and break this block in the ground, place down another brick, full block and spa space, a string, and then a dark oak wood stair after it, followed by another brick slab and another brick top slab. We then want to go ahead and go to the sides of these dark oak wood stairs over here to the right side of these stairs, and we're going to place down uh, item frames with green uh, terracotta in the item frames like that for the side here of the tracks. When that's done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some dark oak wood top slabs. We're going to place down a dark oak wood top slab coming off this uh, another brick slab right there. Or yeah, another brick slab right there. We then want to place down a dark oak wood fence gate opened up in between in between these two slabs and a dark oak wood top slab to the side here. Uh, behind these slabs, we're going to place down a row of three of dark oak wood top slabs. And uh, we then want to go ahead and go to the back section back here. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of dark oak wood top slabs coming off this narrow brick uh, slab right there. Coming off the center dark oak wood top slab, we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate. Dark oak wood fence gate to both sides of these top slabs and have the fence gates opened up like so. 
And the spaces in between these um, dark oak wood top slabs, we're going to go ahead and place down uh, rows of dark oak wood uh, top slabs all the way across here, filling this whole space in on the bottom here, like that, for the base of the hole. With that done, we're going to go and take our track design, copy what we did over to the right side, over here to this side. So again, just using the same design. Um, if you need to, you can look over at the other side. I'm going to go ahead and go a little bit faster here, as I've already kind of covered um, in detail how to put the tracks on. Um, so we're just doing the same thing that's on the other side here. So we have our stairs here, terracotta, another brick block of ground, string, uh, dark oak wood stair, narrow brick slab, narrow brick top slab, uh, item frame, green terracotta like that. So you can see here the tracks here are the same over there on that side as they are over here on this side. And once we have that all complete, that is going to wrap up layer numbers, uh, or sorry, layers numbered uh, 0 through 1. With that, let's move on to layer 2. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer 2. For layer 2 to go ahead and get started here, we're going to go ahead and place down a nether brick stair on top of these two nether brick top slabs. Once that's done, going back, we're going to place down a green terracotta block on both sides, and then coming off this uh, green terracotta block, we're going to place down a stone button, followed by an item frame, and then a cobweb in that item frame to both sides. So same thing over here, just like that. Once that's done, uh, in the space in between these uh, green terracotta blocks, we're going to place down a dark liquid stair like this on both sides, and then in the space in between them, we're going to place down a quartz stair like so. With that done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a zombie head, place down a zombie head on both sides of these narrow brick stairs here on the inside, so you get a shape that looks just like that for the front there. With that done, we're going to place down a row 3 of green terracotta across, followed by another brick top slab to both sides here. Going back from that narrow brick top slab, we're going to place down an anvil, which is going to go ahead and sit on top of this string that we placed in the previous layer. And on the side of the anvil itself, we're going to need to go ahead and grab ourselves a wooden sign, and we're going to go ahead and crouch, and place down a wooden sign on the anvil. Same thing over here, and a crouch, place down a wooden sign on the side of the anvil, and then a row 3 of green terracotta across in between those anvils. Once that's done, we're going to place down a narrow row of three of green terracotta across, narrow brick top slab to both sides. Once that's done, a narrow, uh, narrow two rows of three of green terracotta going black, uh, followed by two anvils on both sides and wooden signs on the side of these anvils. So again, both sides, just like this, and signs on the side of the anvils. When that's done there, we're going to place down a narrow row of three of green terracotta across, a narrow brick top slab to both sides like that. Once that's finished, a narrow row of three of green terracotta across, followed by an anvil to both ends, and coming off the side of this anvil, we want to go ahead and place down a wooden sign like this, same thing over here. On these two narrow brick top slabs here, we're going to place down item frames and green terracotta blocks in the item frames, like that for the guide wheels that are on the top of the track here, and same thing over here as well, just like that. When that's all finished there, we're going to go ahead and continue to work our way back. When we get to this section here, we're going to place down a row of three of green terracotta across, followed by another brick top slab to both ends of it. Once that's done, we're going to place down a row of five of green terracotta across. We're going to have a item frame with a cobweb in it. Same thing over here to this side. And we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a stone button and place down a stone button on the side of this green terracotta block on both sides like that. Uh, once that's done, on the back here, we're going to take our dark oak wood or, uh, sorry, our nether brick stairs. We're going to place down a nether brick stair on top of these two nether brick top slabs. In the space in between them, we're going to take mossy cobblestone walls and just place down a row of three of mossy cobblestone walls across the back there like so. With that all done, that is going to pretty much finish off uh, layer number two. And with that, we can move on to our next layer, layer number three. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three, for us to go ahead and get started here, we're going to go ahead and place down a green carpet on top of these two narrow brick stairs, just like that. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a redstone comparator, place it down on this right green terracotta block like this to the right side, and then over here on the left side, we're going to place down a narrow green carpet. Once that's done, uh, we then need to grab ourselves a oak wood stair. We're going to place down the oak wood stair over here on the left side. However, if you want to, you could do, use a dark oak wood stair. This is just to show like a little uh, box or something like that, a little storage uh, piece on the vehicle itself. Once that's done, we're going to go and place down two dark oak wood slabs across like this, followed by two dark oak wood stairs like this to the side here to go ahead and finish that off. With uh, that all done there, we're going to take our green terracotta. We're going to place down a row of what is going to be um, five of green terracotta all the way across, and we actually want to go and go to the middle green terracotta block and swap that out for an anvil. So you have something that looks just like that for that row across there. Once that's done, we're going to go and take our green terracotta, work our way down the sides. We're going to, go to place down one, two, three, four, five. And uh, yeah, we're going to do five green terracotta blocks back. Same thing over here, one, two, three, four, and five. 
on the last three green terracotta blocks you're going to place down one two and three trip bar hooks same thing over here one two and three just like that uh once that's all finished there we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood stair on this narrow brick top step here to both sides in the space in between uh the stairs here we're going to place down a green terracotta block on both sides followed by a mossy or sorry just a um stone brick full block there in the middle we also want to go and go to the space right before it so this this uh, last green snake wave block on both sides and we're going to place down a row of three of green terracotta across to fill that space in as well so this whole area here will be the crew compartment once that's uh, done there on the sides we're going to go and place down one and two green terracotta blocks back same thing over here one and two we're going to then take signs and wrap signs around the side of these uh, green terracotta blocks so just like this leaving the middle space open in the middle space here we're going to take our dark oak wood stairs we're going to place down a row of three across and we then want to grab ourselves dark oak wood slabs and place down a row of three of dark oak wood slabs across now if you do want to you can throw some extra gear and stuff mounted on the back here by simply going ahead and swapping out this dark oak wood uh, uh, slab there for a sandstone block and maybe a sandstone slab on top of that stair um, that's all optional um, and you can also go and place down two sandstone slabs on top of these green terracotta blocks or vice versa switch it to both sides or uh, maybe add some more sandstone stuff on there just some extra gear and stuff mounted on the back and also a um, oak wood slab also could be added here and those are all optional uh, but if you just want the base model then you can exclude the sandstone and oak wood slabs that we have going on here um, anyways uh, the last thing for us to do is to go ahead and go into the creative menu we need to grab ourselves an item frame and we also need some red stained glass so just like this we're going to then place down an item frame on these two green uh, terracotta blocks and then we want to place down a uh, red stained glass block in it like that for the brake lights with that all complete, that is going to wrap up layer number, uh, sorry, layer number three. Uh, we're going to be doing the interior at the end, so stay tuned for that. That's what we're going to uh, do a little bit later uh, when it's easier just to go ahead and build it. So uh, with that, that's it for layer three. Let's move on to layer four. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer four. For layer four, to go ahead and get started here, we're going to start off over here on the left side of the vehicle. So over here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair on top of this green terracotta block, followed by a dark oak wood top so that it comes off the stair to the side. Come off the stair itself, we're going to place down an item frame with a glass block in the item frame and also a sign coming off the uh, front of the stair like that for the headlight over here on the left side. Once that's done, we're going to take our green terracotta, we're going to place down a green terracotta block on top of this anvil, followed by a second block that goes forward with a sign on both sides. And then off that second block, we're going to go and place down two dark oak wood tops that's going to the front there for the uh, barrel of the gun. When that's done there, we're going to go to the uh, left, the right side here. We're going to place down a dark oak wood stair like so, and then a dark oak wood stair coming off of it. So this is a corner stair, regular stair, and on the front of this regular stair here, we're going to place down this uh, item frame uh, with a glass block in it and a sign over it like that to make the headlight over here on the right side. With that done, uh, we're going to take our snow block. We're going to place down a snow block over here on the left side of the vehicle. And over here on the right side, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a green terracotta block. Now over here on the right side, one thing I missed is that you could swap this green terracotta block out for a snow block as well to keep that kind of army uh, star or representative of what would be the army star located here. Um, that color, uh, you know, just because we have the turret ring here that doesn't really fit, so we have, it's kind of moved down like this. Um, so you can go ahead and make that um, addition there if you want to. Anyways, continuing on, we're going to then place down a green terracotta block over here on the left side. Over here on the right side is where it starts to get a little bit different. We're going to place down a jungle wood uh, top slab like this to the side and then come off this jungle wood top slab. We're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall back followed by one out to the side. With that done, we're going to place down a green terracotta block coming off this mossy cobblestone wall and then we just want to place down one more mossy cobblestone wall going forward. With that done there, we're going to take our dark oak wood slabs. We're going to place down a row of one, two, and three. Um, or sorry, just one and two dark oak wood slabs along the left side here, followed by a dark oak wood stair. Now on the sides of these dark oak wood slabs and also the dark oak wood stair, we're going to go ahead and place down signs wrapped around it like so. Over here on this side, we're just going to be placing down two dark oak wood slabs. And like we did before on the other side, we're going to take our signs and wrap them around the slabs like so. Across the back section here, we're going to place down a row of three of dark oak wood slabs across. We're going to place down a sign on the middle dark oak wood slab and then to both sides of it we're going to go ahead and place down a lever <clears throat> on these green terracotta blocks and we're going to go ahead and have them flick forward to connect up to these dark oak wood slabs like that uh, when that's uh, finished there uh, that's going to pretty much wrap up layer number four and again if you have the extra little 
cargo mounts on the back here you have that on the back if not it's just a plain straight back there and pretty much good to go anyways that right there is going to do it for layer four let's move on to our final layers which are going to be basically layers five um six seven and eight so with that let's go ahead and move into our last final layers uh we have layers uh five through eight all right guys moving into our last final layers we have layers five through eight for these layers to go ahead and get started here we're gonna go ahead and go to the gun barrel here to place down two green carpets on top of those two narrow brick top slab top slabs yep and then we want to place down two dark wood slabs that go back from it to both sides here we're gonna go and place down a green carpet on top of uh this uh dark oak with top slab and uh my apologies there isn't any green carpet over here on this side anyways over here on the left side we're going to go and place down green carpet on the snow block and also this green terracotta block like that just kind of filling it in closing it off uh when it comes over here to this side we have our uh turret ring that we need to put in so for this we're going to place down a green terracotta block on top of this one followed by one on top of this one a mossy cobblestone wall on the space here in between the corners of these green terracotta blocks we then want to place down a mossy cobblestone wall to the side of this forward one, followed by a dark oak with top set back from it. Uh, when we come back to this section here, we're going to place down a green, or sorry, mossy cobblestone wall on top of this one right here, followed by a dark oak with top set that comes across over like so. We also want to go ahead and place down a placeholder block like this and grab ourselves a zombie head, which we'll need to go into our creative menu for. We're going to be placing down a zombie head on top of this block right here at about a 45 degree angle like that just to kind of close this area off and make it look a little bit nicer uh, we also want to go and take our uh, dark signs we're going to place down a sign on this dark oak with top slab here a sign on this green terracotta block and a sign also on this green terracotta block like that going all the way around there for the turret ring like so uh, once that's uh, done there we can go ahead and then put our gun up on top so for our gun itself we're going to place down an anvil that is going to go on top of this green terracotta block here we then want to place down a dark oak with fence gate opened up toward the anvil right behind it like so with that done we're going to grab ourselves a nether brick stair we're going to place down a nether brick upside down stair coming off of it going forward followed by a row two of end rods like this coming off the nether, the nether brick upside down stair to the left side of the nether brick upside down stair we're going to place down a dark oak with top slab we want to go and take signs and wrap signs around the nether brick top or the dark oak with top slab just like that and uh on top of the top slab and also on top of the stair we're going to be placing down a powered rail on top of the top slab and a red stair repeater like this with a notches flip cord on top of the uh nether brick yeah the nether brick upside down stair on the side of the anvil itself we're going to go and place down a sign over here to the right side with uh, that all done there, that is going to pretty much finish off your uh, machine get up on top there. And the last thing for us to do is to go ahead and grab ourselves iron bars and place down one, two, three, and four iron bars up from this dark oak with stair that's over here to the left uh, corner of the crew compartment. With that all done, that's going to pretty much do it for the exterior uh, of the M7 Priest. With that, let's go ahead and move into building the interior. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving into putting the interior on for the M7 Priest. Now the interior itself is really simple and really compacted as you can imagine with, you know, Minecraft blocks and stuff like that. Realistically, your armor is going to be a meter thick, so uh, we do have a little bit of a compacted uh, design in here and it's a little squished, uh, but, you know, it's, you know, still a little bit of an interior as well and you kind of get that idea that they're, what's going on here, so... Um, you know, did our best here, and I think it works out for the most part really nicely and, you know, should be enjoyable um, to have on your vehicle. Uh, but anyways, for us to get started here, we're going to go ahead and go to this green terracotta block right here. We're going to place down one more block back like this, and then we want to go ahead and then take a uh, dark oak with stair, and we're going to place down a dark oak with stair like this, coming off this green terracotta block. To uh, the left side here, we're going to place down a dark oak with slab, and then over here on this side is theoretically where the seat will come into play. Uh, we don't really have much room as you can imagine with it. Um, the one uh, modification we can make here is we can remove that green terracotta block there. Uh, we can instead place down a jungle wood slab like this and maybe a wooden trap door right behind it. If I can go ahead and grab a wooden trap door. Actually, there's some right here. So let's go and grab this. And uh, we can go ahead and have like a little bit of a seat here. It's definitely not perfect, uh, but you know, it is a little modification you could do to make it look a little bit nicer in the back here. Uh, anyways, behind this anvil itself, we're going to place down a uh, dark oak with top slab like that coming off of it. And then on the bottom of this dark oak with stair here, we're going to place down a um, wooden trap door going back. And we want to then place down a dark oak with slab coming off this dark oak with stair. Now on the side of this uh, dark oak with slab here, we're going to place down a wooden sign like this to both sides. When that's done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a jungle slab. We're going to place down a jungle top slab. 
uh, coming off this green terracotta block like this for a little seat here for the gunner. Uh, with that done there, we're going to go ahead and place down a block like this on the ground, or just kind of like this for a placeholder. On top of it, we're going to place down a dark fence gate. We're going to open up the fence gate toward the front like that. We then want to go ahead and go into the creative menu, grab ourselves an item frame. Coming off the dark roof fence, we're going to place down an item frame with a cobweb like this for the kind of, you know, um, instruments and like that to turn and um, aim the gun. And we also want to place down green carpet on top of those two dark roof tops. I have something I forgot to do for the turret ring, so it's going to make that a quick addition. Uh, but anyways, when that's done there, we're going to go ahead and also grab ourselves a winter skeleton skull and place it down on top of this dark roof fence. You like that for the sights here for the gunner to be able to aim it. On top of the green terracotta block here and dark oak wood stair. We're going to place down two dark oak wood slabs on top of it like that to go ahead and complete the gun there. Uh, we then want to take some um, birchwood planks and for ammunition we can place down a couple birchwood planks over here to this side. You can also place down some over here on this side as well though I like to have the space kind of open so you can just have it over here on this side. Last thing we need to do is coming off this the back of this dark oak wood stair which is kind of hard to reach. We're going to place down a skeleton or a uh, zombie head like that to the side there. Again a little bit hard to reach there but just go ahead and throw that on. And when that's all done, we can take um, some stone pressure plates. And you know, on the floor here, we can put down some stone pressure plates like this to kind of give it more of a, you know, kind of textured uh, look here and everything like that. So something like that, we can't do that for the chair there, so we'll leave it as that. Um, so once you have that done, you kind of have the interior here for the M7 Priest. Again, it's really cramped, but, you know, it kind of gets the job done, shows you what's kind of going on here, and, uh, you know, do the very best with the space we had to model it the uh, best we could. So... Anyways, that right there is going to do it for the M7 Priest uh, self-propelled um, artillery piece. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the build. If you guys do end up using this design, I do ask you guys to give me proper credit for it. This has been from the side of the build. Tune to my channel or this video if this does pay any social media sites. As long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to use it for projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build. Have fun with it. And um, that's pretty much it. Um, if That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary2F4, and I'll see you guys next time.